Hello, and welcome to the DB Schema channel. In this quick tutorial, you will learn how to connect the DB Schema Designer tool to your database. Before we dive into the connection steps, let's quickly highlight some of its main features. Visualize your schema with intuitive diagrams. Collaborate with your team on schema design through Git integration and deploy the schema into multiple databases. Add comments and generate HTML5 documentation for easy sharing. Run SQL queries directly using the built-in SQL editor. Edit and view data with the relational data editor and query builder. Now, let's get started with the connection process. First, open the DB schema application. On the main screen, click Connect to Database. You will see a list of database options here. Select PostgreSQL. If you are connecting for the first time, DB Schema will automatically download the JDBC driver for you. DB Schema offers two connection methods, standard connection and edit manually for database access. In DB Schema, you can manually edit the JDBC connection for PostgreSQL, which is particularly useful for connecting to cloud databases. You can copy the connection URL from your cloud console and customize it to fit your specific setup before testing the connection. For further assistance, click the Help button. Make sure your PostgreSQL server is running before connecting with DB Schema, no matter what type of connection you use. To check this, go to the Start menu and type Windows Tools. Open Component Services. In the left panel, select Services. Scroll through the list and locate PostgreSQL. Ensure that its status shows as running. Another method to start the PostgreSQL server is by using a Docker container. For a simpler process, you can use Docker Desktop, but only after installing Docker and completing its setup Here's a screenshot of Docker Desktop to help you visualize the setup process for running a PostgreSQL server. For step-by-step -step guidance, check our official documentation linked in the video description. Back in the DB Schema application, for a local connection, you should verify the connection by pressing the Ping button. Then, enter the database username and password you configured during the PostgreSQL server installation. Optionally, choose a specific database, then click Connect to establish the connection. DB Schema will then reverse engineer your database schema, automatically creating a visual representation of your tables and their relationships. You can also connect remotely from your local computer to another machine. First, you will need to ensure that the server firewall allows traffic for the port 5432, which is used for PostgreSQL database connections. You can check this by going to Start, opening Windows Firewall, selecting Advanced Settings, and navigating to Inbound Rules. To enable remote connections to your PostgreSQL server, you'll need to configure TCP IP settings. Here's how you can do it. Locate this file in your PostgreSQL installation folder. This file is typically found in the slash data directory. Open the file in a text editor and look for a line similar to this. To allow a specific IP address to connect remotely, copy one of the existing lines, paste it at the end of the file and modify it as follows. Replace the IP address in the address section with the IP of the machine running DB Schema. Save your changes and restart the PostgreSQL server for the new settings to take effect. Simply enter the IP address or host name of the machine where the PostgreSQL server is running. You should verify the connection by pressing the ping button. Then, enter the database username and password you configured during the PostgreSQL server installation. Optionally, choose a specific database, 
then click Connect to establish the connection. No matter which connection type you choose, once you're connected, DB Schema will automatically reverse engineer your database schema, generating a visual layout of your tables and relationships. Thank you for watching. Be sure to explore our other tutorials to get the most out of your DB Schema experience.